We're entering a period that recognises the importance, or more so the imperative, of sustainable actions. We're seeing this through the increasing number of sustainability targets that are being set by companies and governments alike. And then there is consistent and growing evidence that organisations that are more sustainable in terms of environmental impact, diversity, governance and social impact outperform their peers. The private sector business has been an incredible source of economic dyna dynamism, innovation throughout the past few de decades, and it's really lifted billions of people out of poverty. We're seeing governments putting a lot more regulation and legislation in this place, which is hopefully um, not hindering innovation or stifling business, because that's not that's not what it's there for. But, but really directing business more towards the sustainability agenda. Sustainability is now in the boardroom, if you want to think about it. It's no longer a separate agenda for uh, corporates. Um, it is intrinsic in our strategy. We don't come back and think about sustainability like we used to do um, a few years ago, if you will. So that's good news. You know, building a sustainable business is very heavily re reliant on a resilient supply chain and hence a huge focus on supplier resilience, right, that make up um, a large part of our supply chain. Uh, as a bank, as a financial institution, uh, our shareholders, investors, as well as our customers are becoming more conscious of ESG issues and they are now shifting their investment as well as their buying decision that are aligned with this ESG goal. You know, about 67% of the MNC today that we talk to are, are really tackling this supply chain emission as a first step to net zero emission. And that's where they will want to work with their suppliers right now, people who are part of the ecosystem. So I think there is or have been uh, increased pressure from MNCs, Micron, you know, the likes, that the supplier become more sustainable. So, so my, my message to start would be, again, find, find your niche. It, it may, you may not be that unicorn who's going to um, um, kind of have the next massive IPO buy or kind of IPO and, and kind of be the next the next stage unicorn. But 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 you might be the one that's going to lift millions of people out of poverty and save people's lives. And, and, and think about sustainability that way as well, because the, the market is failing in many ways. So there's a huge problem to be solved, and it cannot be sequential. It, there has to be an urgency if you want to get there. So. Um, uh, you know, yes, uh, the, the, finance, the financiers are looking at how to fund these. You've got the support. You heard about a lot of them today uh, in the last hour. But it's best that we start with sustainability being on the agenda uh, from day one. And, um, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, so the regulators are increasingly going to implement, um, uh, start new regulation around sustainability and risk reward which will impact the cost of capital for the banks. So like it or not, uh, it will be part of the DNA, it will be the part of a new way of doing business going forward.